Hello, I'm Dionic, and welcome back to Let's Play Rampa. So, we are going to find Fukawa and Gekir. I think their names are. No, no, it's just, it's just my monitor being really old. The, 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 the monitor that I have my camera on is ancient. Um, so it's filling my body full of radiation. Okay. I placed my finger on the bell. Ding dong. And after a short wait. Nani. What? Daddy. Who is it? A wave of sour negative energy. Some people can feel energy, I guess. I uh, lurched out into the hall. Uh, when Fukawa opened the door. Mm. What? Mm. What do you want? Fukawa! You're back to yourself again! And not genocider! Don't talk about her around me! You, you'll spoil my mood! Okay, so she doesn't like her either! Okay. And I was just beginning to enjoy myself. This is what enjoying herself looks like, I guess, sitting on. <laughs> Sitting alone. Hey, uh, is now a good time? I need to talk to you about something. Mm. After clicking her tongue loud enough for me to hear, Fukawa stepped out into the hallway. Oh, well, that was a crazy lot for you guys. What? What is it? You said you needed to talk to me? It had better not be anything dirty. I'll sue you for sexual harassment. Since when? Have I guess you've misinterpreted a lot of things I've said. Oh, is she here? Yeah, okay, there she is. Okay, right. Yeah, yeah, okay. Actually, I was wanting to talk to you about the note you got from... Ugami asking you to meet her in the rec room. I'm reading weird. Forgive me. What? So, so Do, don't ask me. I I don't know. Anything about the Oh, maybe you should sneeze and then we'll and then we'll see. Togami admitted to having gotten one. <laughs> huh? My white knight was also summoned? Ack! Slip of the tongue! Oh, okay, well, she was just lying. That was- that was an obscene noise, lady. Uh... Yeah, no, uh, so- so she was lying. Okay, alright. I- I thought maybe it was the other personality that was taking over and maybe she didn't have- didn't share the same memory pool or whatever. Now it's completely obvious that I was summoned too. Yeah, yeah, it kinda is. So, you wanna tell me about that? Yeah, yes, I did see the note, but but I didn't go to the rec room. I I was too afraid to go. Hmm. She says she didn't go, but is that really true? I don't have any evidence to claim otherwise, so I'll just have to believe her for now. <laughs> yeah, you've heard enough. Yes, I'm going back to my room. And with that, Fukawa scurried back into her room. Back into her hole. I uh, loaded Fukawa's testimony into your Electro ID. You can find it in the ammunition menu. Okie dokie. Alright, so... We are... Alright, Higigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigig
I'm not the only one she invited. Well, how would you know that if no one else showed up? Unless they already talked to you about it. Ogre told me herself. Dude, she was inviting both. Oh, okay, all right. Kawa and Togs. Huh? You talked to Ugami. When was this? Okay, so no, actually that 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 backs up what Asahina said, so I can probably rule her out as a suspect. M mostly. Er, ah, uh, well... When she invited me, dude. I thought she delivered notes to everyone. Yeah, the note. The note. She gave it to me in person, dude. And that's when she told me. This story is obviously pretty fishy. <laughs> is he just bad at this? Uh, well, I mean, we know he's a bad liar. Is he just really bad at this? So, did you go to the rec room? <laughs> Hell no, I didn't like, like I'd go see her. Ah, uh, something doesn't add up here. I, I read that totally messed up. Okay, whatever. Did say I, I warned you guys a couple days ago. Or yesterday. <laughs> See? Alright. The last time I saw Hoker was when we brought Asahina down to the infirmary, dude. My days are running together. It's all a blur. After that, I never saw her again. Well, I'm here. Could you let me have a look at the note you were given? No, no, no. Do I still have the note? Hmm. Um. Hagegger shoved his hand into his pocket. Mama. Sorry, man. I don't have it. It's gone. And then gave me a twitchy smile as he pulled it back out. Pulled pulled his hand back out. Not, not anything else. And when he did, something fell to the floor in front of me. Something from inside his pocket. Ah! Uh, crap! He swiped it up like a gust of wind and shoved it into his pocket. Mama! Tee Trash, dude! Trash! Just some trash I forgot to throw out, dude! Trash! Eh, anywho, Ogre invited me to the rec room. But true as truth, I didn't go. That is the most fishy thing anyone has ever done in the history of ever. So I'm out of here, dude. Not even giving me a chance to speak, he forcefully ended our conversation and fled to his room. He says it was just a piece of trash. But that wasn't just any trash, was it? It was a candy wrapper! Loaded a Gekker's trash into Electro ID, you can find it. Um, well, I've heard what Fukawa and Hegekir had to say, but what next? It sounded like I'm going to have to re examine the crime scene, but in addition to that, I should also probably. Do some looking into that protein container I found on the rec room. In the rec room, rather. As I recall, it came from the chem lab. Alright, well, what's first? I mean, okay, I might just have, like, a dirty mind. I mean, well, yeah, no, I, I confirm that I have a filthy mind that I do not share with anyone except my most deepest inner demons. Um, but I guess it's possible that Hegekir and, uh, Asahina have, like, a secret relationship or something. And that he, like, swiped candy and, th and that he was more nervous about me finding out about their relationship than me suspecting him of murder. Maybe? Like, that is the most elaborate explanation I could have. Because nothing so far in this game has been exactly as it seemed. It's always been like, 
Oh, you know, that there's something up. Oh, but it's not, it's not murder. It's something else. And so, so it's like, I'm, I'm trying to think outside the box a little bit, so forgive me. And I, I don't know, having a relationship outside, well, okay, having a relationship in here is pretty much like, uh, getting it on every once in a while. Well, especially because they're not like living together and they don't have babies or... They're, they're probably not going on dates. It's probably just like uh, a casual thing. I don't know. I'm, I'm reading entirely too much into it and going the wrong way. See? See what happens? See what happens. All right. Okay. All right. Let us look at... I mean, I... Okay. Honestly, full disclosure. If... If this were to happen in real life, and they had a bunch of, like, 18, 19 year olds who were, like, the best in their fields or whatever, in a locked facility together for, like, weeks, I, I don't even know how long it's been, it's been several days at least, hundreds of days possibly, I don't know, I, I don't really remember, it, it, it told me, probably, did it, I, I don't remember, anyway, uh, for, for a long period of time, for a set period of time, Chances are, they're gonna get up to some shenanigans. Like, I, I'm just saying, real life, that's what would happen. Anyway. Okay, so we're going to the chem lab because it's right here. So I don't feel like I'm being too, reading too much into it. I don't feel like I'm being crazy. Because I'm, I'm surprised that, well, I, no, it, it has happened. If, uh, White Knight and, uh, and, uh, Genocider are hooking up. Looking at them again, I'm struck by how large these chemical containers are. I should probably give them a thorough investigation. Okay. From the looks of it, the cabinet is actually three separate cabinet pla cabinets placed side by side. But more importantly, there's all that crap on the floor that you're ignoring. Okay, what's this powder that's been spilled in front of the cabinet? Okay. I need to be careful not to step in it. Yeah, because it's coming out of a poisonous jar. Alright. There's a broken bottle on the floor by the cabinets. Looks like it's to be the looks to be the source of the spilled powder. The label on the bottle says Chem Lab C4. <laughs> for your information, I was looking around for the fourth floor this morning, and the lab was not in this condition then. But we can't trust your testimony because you're also a suspect. I'm the only not suspect, or you know, Nagi. We're connected. We're spirit buddies. Uh, is, uh, is, is the only not suspect because you're, you see from his perspective constantly. Unless I fell asleep at some point and I murder people in my sleep through really elaborate crazy ways. It, it was all me. I've killed every single person in this game so far. They just never caught me and the rules are slightly different for some reason. Which means his powder was spilled. Bloody. Right around the time the crime occurred, most likely. If the powder was spilled around the same time as the crime, it's probably connected somehow. Yeah, well, we can assume that she was poisoned. Loaded spilled powder into your Electro ID you can find in the ammunition menu. Okay. Do I look at the footprints? I look at the footprints. I totally look at the footprints. Are these footprints? They seem to have only been left in front of the left cabinet, too. <laughs> okay, I need a diagram to get a better idea of how the footprints are laid out with re respect to the room itself. What the hell are you talking about? Are you telling me to map it out? <laughs> now you're getting the hang of things. With a smirk on his face, Togami handed me a pen and a sheet of paper. None. Well, get to work, Watson. Uh, okay, I'm always someone's Watson. I'm no, I'm never, I'm never the Sherlock. I always try to be the Sherlock. You guys, you guys see how much I try to be the Sherlock, but I'm never quite the Sherlock. As he ordered, I quickly scribbled down a diagram of the room. 
Um, how does this look? <laughs> Not bad for the likes of you. For, from the likes of you. I don't know. Fro, for, from. Fifo, fifo, fum, fum, from, rum, rum. From the likes of me. <laughs> I see. Looking at it this way. It's clear that the one person left these footprints only had business in the left cabinet. Whoever it was knew exactly what they needed to do. They went straight to the cabinet and right back out. That's what their footprints suggest. And chances are these footprints belong to you, don't they, Neki? What? Are you some kind of idiot? No, they don't. Then give me your shoes and let me compare foot size. Is he just trying to trick you out of your shoes so they could use them in an investigation? Having no good reason to turn him down, I obey Togami's orders. <laughs> Interesting. It seems your feet are larger. Who has small feet? You usually women have smaller feet. You usually. Or fee female frames. Ah, uh, sadly, these footprints aren't yours. Yeah, I'm real sad. <laughs> However, with footprints this clear, it should be no effort whatsoever to find out whose they are. Just going off how much effort Togami put into, or sorry, Togami, Togami's putting into examining them, I guess they're pretty significant. Okay. So, uh, does it get here? We should go measure everyone's feet. All right, well, well let's see what's in this cabinet. Let's just walk across it. Let's see this cat. Yeah, we'll just walk across the powder. Oh, are you just looking really closely? Has an assortment of nutrients and supplements and the likes in and the like inside. The protein container I found in the rec room must have come from this cabinet. The label on everything in this cabinet starts with a letter A. That would make this left cabinet cabinet A then. Is that all right, but wait a second. Okay, okay, so it's okay. All right, I was like, there's a single bo uh, bottle here labeled Chem Lab C9. Did someone accidentally put it back in the wrong place? Mayhaps. Let's look at C9. This cabinet contains a bunch of dangerous-looking chemicals. Looks like poison and other potentially hazardous chem. Okay, why? Yeah, no, I would totally just store the poison right next to my supplements. Oh, yeah, no, I I keep the Drano inside of my shaker. Who, who does? All right, just say, not the safest environment. Uh, the labels on everything in this cabinet start with the letter C. That would make this right cabinet, cabinet C then. Indeed it does. Let's see, this cabinet has a bunch of chemicals I've never heard of. <laughs> They're called regents, uh, compounds used to induce or check for chemical reactions and chemistry experiments. I'm surprised you can live with yourself being so ignorant. Me too. I have no idea what chemical reactions are. You, you don't think that's going a bit too far? None. Are you telling me you think studying math or chemistry are of no use in the real world? Is that what I No, I I thought I was I thought I was pointing out that you insulting me for no damn reason was being a dick. <laughs> the words of a failure, they suit you, Negi. I didn't say that. Anyway, what I really need to be concerned about right now is investigating the cabinet. The label on everything in the cabinet starts with the letter B. That would make this middle cabinet, cabinet B then. Hmm, nothing really jumps out at me. I don't think I need to spend any more time looking through this cabinet. Hmm, here's what I've learned about these cabinets so far. They go in A, B, and C. 
The Chem Lab's chemical cabinet is actually three separate adjacent cabinets. Cabinet A contains nutrients. Ah, uh, cabinet B, regents. And cabinet C, poisons. <laughs> what cute. I, okay, whatever. It's like Ugami got her protein from cabinet A. It's likely, rather. Curiously, there was also a bottle labeled C, mixed in with everything else, cabinet A. Cabinet C is where poison and stuff like is stored. So why was a bottle from, I don't know, why, why are they even in the same goddamn room? Cabinet A, there's something to it, I can feel it. Loaded chemical cabinets into your Electro ID, you can run it here, right here. Okay, okay. All right, uh, so is that everything I needed? I need to finish my investigation. Oh! There's a large quantity of yellow powder on the floor by the cabinet. Gotta be careful not to step in it. Hmm, perhaps I should go back over what I've learned about the powder so far. A large quantity of yellow powder was spilled in front of the cabinets. You literally just- Alright, I suspect. It came from the broken bottle I found on the floor nearby. You think? The bottle's label says Chem Lab 4 C4. I guess he's just being thorough, right? I'm, I'm just being a dick. Uh, additionally, someone left footprints in the powder. And it's all over their shoes, so we just need to check shoes. Going by the diagram I drew, it seems whoever they belong to had or, sorry, only had business in the left cabinet. Okay. On top of that, Togami says the powder was spilled around the same time as the crime occurred. That's about all I got for now. Okay, well, I examined the footprints. Why the hell weren't the footprints loaded into the electro- All right, whatever. Loaded footprints in the electro ID. That about does it for the chem lab. Next is another pass of the rec room. Okay. <clears throat> okay, actually, we're probably not going to get to the trial yet. It's probably going to be... It's, it's usually two episodes of investigation, and then we get to the trial. Uh, so it's probably going to be... This is going to be us finishing up the investigation, and then... Uh, going to the trial. Okay, all right. Yes. Trying to be quick about it, cause uh, cause uh, I want to finish it. Is this the rec room? Can I get rid of the? Yeah. Okay. There we go. I I saw it. I saw it. And the broken window. And the broken window. Hello, lady. How do the interviews go, Negi? I don't know exactly what I heard from Fukawa and Hegeku. I see. So all three of them, including Togami, claim they never responded to Ogami's invitation. But it doesn't add up. Someone is probably lying. Someone is lying? In any event, well, you knew that Hegeku is lying about something. I made some progress here, too. Ogami's corpse, the magazine rack, and the Monokuma bottles. I found new clues in all three of those places. You would do good to investigate them all once more. Well, why don't you just tell me what you found? I just shared what I found. How about we do that? All right, whatever. Hurting my wrist for no reason. I, my wrist still hurts, believe it or not. Okay, uh, Monokuma bottles. Do I just look at the bottles or do I look at the broken bottle? Kirigiri said she found something new with these Monokuma bottles. Clues, clues. Clues, clues. Hmm. Yeah. So, did you figure it out? Look carefully and you should see it. There's a pattern to that set of Monokuma bottles. A pattern? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, they go in, uh... Is that King, Bishop, 
Pawn and Rook? I don't remember. All right, hmm. Come on, Kiryu, can't you just tell me? Sharing leads is one thing, but there's a danger in sharing. Conclusions drawn from those leads. Oh, uh, okay, well, I guess I didn't do that for you, so whatever. I mean, I, I've been sharing with you guys, but I haven't shared it with her. I don't want to unnecessarily influence your deduction prior to the class trial. You need to reach your own conclusion. That seems like a valid argument. Once, or sorry, ones that satisfy you, not me. So it's not that you don't trust me. Mm. No retort. <laughs> I do trust you. That was a cute giggle that I don't think we've heard from her before. I do trust you to some degree. If I didn't, I wouldn't be telling you this. To some degree, she says. To some degree, she says. Uh, reloaded Monokuma bottles. Updated data can be found in the Amnid Manier. No. To tell you the truth, there's actually one other thing about these bottles that has made me curious. And I'd like to conduct an experiment to test my hypothesis. You'll give me a hand, won't you? An experiment. First, I need you to get down on your knees while I hit you in the head of this bottle. First, I need you to gather up all the Monokuma bottle fragments on the floor, even the smallest shards. Huh? Are you sure? Should we really be tampering with the scene? Everyone's had a chance to look around, so it should be fine. That loudmouth Togami isn't around either. I've got to get some equipment from the chem lab. But aren't you not allowed to leave because you're guarding the body? Uh, you take care of that while I'm gone. Look at that, Kirigiri vanished from the rec room. I have no idea what's going on, but what can you do? Not like I've got much of a choice. Using a broom and dustpan I found in the rec room, I swept up all the bottle fragments on the floor. And just as I finished that, sorry to keep you waiting. Yeah. All done? Then let's get started. What kind of experiment are we doing? I brought a balance back from the chem lab. We're going to compare masses. Oh, there might be uh, missing shards. So what, would they be on the uh, killer's clothing? Or did the killer take something? Compare what with what? Or with what with what? What what? The fragments you collected and a whole Monokuma bottle. What for? That's the whole point of this experiment, you'll see. First, let's compare the masses of the two unbroken Monokuma bottles. Yay, they're the same. The two sides of the... Actually, shouldn't they be slightly different because uh, they're different sized figurines? Like, the pawn is clearly not the same size as the bishop? Is it a bi I think it's a bishop. That means each of the Monokuma bottles weighs roughly... Okay, well, we're saying roughly. Well, that makes sense. There's not much difference between the figures and nothing else to create a weight difference. Yeah. Now, here's the real test. Let's try putting the fragments you picked up on one side of the balance. What do you suppose will happen? Well... There are two possibilities. Either they'll weigh the same, or the broken bottle will weigh slightly less. I tried my best to pick up everything, but it's still possible I missed... Okay, well, is it possible it'll weigh more? Yeah. Because we did see the other broken bottle that is the same color. Sorta. Sorta the same. No, I, th I think it was the same color. Well then. Let's see what happens. Yeah, <laughs> I was right. Huh? The fragments weigh more. What? Why? Yeah, buddy. So I was right about taking both the results of that experiment and the Monokuma bottle's hidden pattern in conjunction. No. conjunction there's only one conclusion you can draw, or at least, that's what I think. 
What do you think? That's all up to you. Loaded bottle experiment ends your lecture ID. You can find it in the ammunition menu. Okay, uh... I was hoping to finish this, um, but I actually have other things I need to be recording. So this is gonna be another 30 minute episode, like, on the nose. So next episode, I'm gonna try my hardest to get through everything and to get to the trial. I'm sorry. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Leave a like. Let, let me go find my keyboard, because I actually have it setting, like, off to the side. Leave a like, comment on what you think of the game so far, go check out the other videos I've done, and I will see you soon. Oh my god, oh my god, dead in, dead in, dead in, dead in!